Hey, happy Sunday to you, 701 Militia. This is JD with Guns in the 701 live stream. Gonna do a little gun test here on an AR I built. By about six months ago, probably got a couple hundred rounds through it. Uh, got a pretty good assortment of ammo here. I'm gonna try five different loads through it. Uh, probably do four shot groups. I got my chrono, I'm gonna chrono them for you. And target's down there at 100. Got the vortex, I'm gonna hook the phone scope up to it when I shoot the group so you can see them. And, uh, you know, I got my trusted steed as usual here, the Kawasaki Mule. So this Sayar I built, I bought, most of the stuff I bought for it is, is stag, pretty much, you know, the hand guard, the barrel, one and seven twist, 16 inch, 16 and a half inch, uh, lowers a stag, and mag pull stock, hog grip, I got the burst scope, got the mag pull flip up on the back. I don't know, I remember that front one is, the Yankee Hill or something maybe. That's the suppressor, the Yankee Hill Resonator K. Uh, for another day, we're gonna do a suppressor test, me and some buddies. But as for today, this is the one I'm gonna be doing. Be doing a review on this, how it shoots, some groups. So when I'm done, I got uh, some assorted targets and jugs around here. I'm gonna do a little shooting, you know, from probably 25 yards up to 300. So uh, we'll put this baby on the phone scope here, get the chrono ready, and I'm gonna start shooting some groups. And the first one I think we're gonna shoot here is, uh, Nosler 55 green ballistic tips, uh, Winchester 748 powder. I chronicled this one already, but we'll, we'll see if it, uh, I think it was a little cooler when I did that actually. So we'll, uh, we'll see what it chronos today. I believe it's the top left is the, is the, uh, That wasn't a very good group, I can tell you that. What do we got going next here? Yeah, we'll see, I'll get it loaded up, but that was kind of a scattered group. All right, we're gonna go with the uh, Sierra 55 grain boat tail hollow point, Game King with the tack powder. That doesn't look like too bad of a group, nothing special, but what did Chrono add, Dad? 2855? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the next one we're going to do? Oh, we're going to do some full metal jacket shit rounds here. We'll do those next. All right, next one we're going to do here, lower left, we're going to go with uh, Federal Full Metal Jacket 55 grainers. Yeah, just a white box, you know, the cheap stuff I got at a Walmart or something, but you never know. Usually when people try these groups, they don't use these. I don't know. We'll see what it does. So we got four shots going off here. Looks like the muzzle velocity was averaging 2880, which isn't too bad. 
I don't know, the groups when I drove down here, when I turned the recording off here a little bit ago, they had, that first one was probably over an inch, but that second one was probably right around an inch. I, I was going to bring my caliper, but I forgot. But I guess I can put it on at the end of the video. But, I mean, that ain't bad for junk ammo right there, and I'm not really taking a whole lot of time to shoot these. So I think the next one we're going to go with is the uh, American Eagle. Yeah, let, me, let me check it out. Let me check here. I think it's the American Eagle Varmint and Predator 50 grainer, but we'll make sure before we shoot it. I'm going to let this thing cool off a little bit, and then we'll get to it. All right, third group we're going to go with. It is actually the American Eagle 50 grain jacketed hollow point Varmint and Predator ammo from Federal. So I've never shot this. I don't know. I think, honestly, everything I've shot this out hasn't really shot that good. I did go down and put uh, tape to them groups. The first one was an uh, inch and a half, and the next two were right on an inch and a quarter, which, well, is disappointing. It's gonna shot better than that, but you know, maybe it's me, I'm shooting quick. All right, let's see what the Federal will do here. That's not too bad. I'd say that's got to be right around an inch too, maybe a little more. But again, if I take a little more time, but you know, I'm having fun. So let's see what the velocity was. Whoa, smoking here. Let's see. Four shot average of 29.75 out of the 16 inch carbine barrel. I forgot to mention, being this is the light government contour barrel too, so. It's not really made for accuracy, but it's doing pretty good. We'll see what it does here in the target shooting afterwards. So let me check how warm this barrel is in the suppressor. And yeah. I'm going to let it cool off here a little bit before we do the last one, and that's going to be some Sierra Match Kings. All right, last group we're going to do here, uh, like I said, Sierra 69 green, <clears throat> Bowtail Hollow Point Match Kings. See what she does. Match bullets, they ricochet, they don't. That was, you know, definitely the best group I shot, but it's probably the most time I took, too, actually, with the average here. Well, 26, 25. Pretty slow, but they hit hard, so. All right, well, we got that going. We're going to uh, line up some fun shit here and blow up some jugs and other interesting things in short order. All right, we got... Uh, we got an unfriendly up here at 130 yards. Look at that bird flying around by. Uh, my dad's gonna go ahead and take this jug out. It's a light snack for him. He's quite the sniper. Go ahead. Got easy. Him. Got him. Done deal. Pretty easy. That was a 69 gram match bullet right there. So next one we're gonna go to here. Uh, there's a look at that bird sitting there, Dad. Take crack at him. <laughs> Ruffled his feathers. I just scared him away. <laughs> All right, hang tight. We're going to zero in our next target. We'll be right back here. Okay, we got uh, the water jug hanging out here at 250 yards. This is a, probably a favorite target, everybody. We come out here shooting, having some fun. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Nosler 55 grain ballistic tip on this one. That actually shot the worst group at 100, but... I mean, I'm fairly confident I can hit it out here at 250, so hang tight. Let's see what happens. Ooh. 
Whew. I mean, there was with that ballistic tip out there, even at 250, compared to that uh, match bullet at 130 that my dad shot, that there was a lot more action on that one. So, but that was pretty sweet, you know, not much drop in that, in that ballistic tip nosler. So, um, next one, I got one more here. We're going to go, we're going to go out to 300. I actually, I haven't ever shot this bullet at 300 yards before. Like I said, I haven't shot too many rounds through this gun and I, since I built it, but uh, we're going to go out there and either I'll hit it or make an ass of myself. All right, we're all squared up at uh, 300. I mean, I even got it painted on the post out there, so we'll see what happens. I might have to take a few cracks. Like I said, I haven't ever shot this, well, this particular round at 300, much less this gun very much at 300, so. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Well, I guess that round didn't shoot a very good group at 100, but it's pretty good at longer range. That looked pretty much dead center smoke show right there. That's some fun stuff. Hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna talk a little more about about the gun here and a few other things. So I'm gonna cut this out and we'll be right back. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit more about the gun here that I built. Uh, pretty much like I said in the beginning, I ordered all this all the parts from Stag, put it all together myself. Everything fit good. Everything's got a nice tight fit on it. It's got a light profile government barrel. I think I might have said that. Put a Rock River two stage in it um buffer tube and spring i think that was a cmmg kit thing just like the lower parts was i got the anti-walk pins in there got nice the machining there it looks real clean it ain't all blurry like a lot of stuff is stag does a nice job got the burris two and a half to ten by 42 you know i could shoot a better group with a higher magnification but Oh, it's a pretty sweet scope, actually. You got a nice crosshair. It worked for you pretty good, didn't it, Dad, at 130? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Blew that jug right apart. If that was a yote yote, he'd bye-bye. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I got backup iron sights on it. I always do that to all my ARs, a little laser on there. I don't know. That laser is more of a kind of a pistol laser. It's green. It's pretty awesome. That sucker, it'll go at, at night. You'll be shocked how far that thing would go. A little light on it is pretty bright, and... The uh, Yankee Hill Turbo K, Resonator K, not the turbo, the Resonator. It's really short. I mean, you know, it's my hand. It's pretty much covers the damn thing. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I apologize right at the end. I, I hit the remote stop button before I was done talking, but um, I appreciate you watching my video. Come back every week. I'm going to have a new one every week, and appreciate my daughter doing the video editing. Love you.